know, for some time we've been talking about the schools closing in the urban areas. And the same thing is happening all across uh, rural America these days. And the schools are closing permanently because the problem in rural America, it has a big population of elderly people and not enough children in those districts to keep the schools open. So the students went for the last time in Wisconsin in a rural area and um, they closed the school permanently. And, you know, it's budgetary problems and things like the aging population and hardly no students made it impossible to keep the school open for the first time since the 1800s. The village of Arena has no schools. So this rural area called Arena, Wisconsin, no longer have any schools in rural areas. Arena Elementary School was the second small rural elementary school in two years to close in the district, nearly 300 square miles of rolling pastures and dairy farms in southwestern Wisconsin. The one in the neighboring village of Lone Rock closed last spring. The district now has just one open public school in Spring Green is nine miles away. The same scene is playing out across rural America. Officials uh, in aging communities with stretch budgets are closing small schools and busing uh, children to larger towns. People worry about losing not just their schools, but their town's future. You know, I don't mean to sound negative, but I don't see how there's any future in rural America. You got to think about this. Number one, there's old people there, not enough young people. Um, the few young people that are there, most of them are leaving to go closer to the cities looking for work. There's no work in rural America. And that's the problem. There, there's not enough for people to do when they're young. And I did the story less than two weeks ago on the maternity wards that are closing all across rural America. Many of these people have to travel 25, 30 miles just to get to the nearest maternity ward. And it was also talking about doctors leaving the rural areas because they're, they're just, they don't have enough patients to stay there and remain open. So people are leaving rural America and there's a lot of crime there among the people that remain, you know, because of the drug abuse is high in the rural areas around the country, higher there than anywhere else. And you got all of the arrests now going on in rural America. So, I don't see the future in being in a remote place anymore because there's no jobs there. I mean, you may live there and, and feel like you got privacy and the scenery and this and that, but you're not near anything, you know, and being in those remote places, that's going to become less and less desirable, you know, as time goes on. I mean, uh, many people are not going to want to be in an area where you got to travel 30 miles to the nearest hospital, no jobs, <laughs> and not to mention all of the, um, you, you notice all of those fires that break out. They're not breaking out in the city. They're breaking out in those remote areas where everybody lives and there's a whole ton of trees around them. That's where those fires are breaking out, you know? And I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody feels differently, like there's something good about being in rural America, but it just seems like it's dying out. You know, that is the place that's really dying the most in this country.
But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You know, and I, I realize some black people live in rural America because on my mother and my father's side in, in the South, they lived in black communities that were rural. So, I mean, we know that exists, you know, but it's a little different because, um, for instance, my mother and father, they lived in rural areas, but you can just go less than five miles outside of that area. And they got like Walmart and all of the fast food joints and a bunch of places to shop. So for them, it's not so bad being in rural area, you know, in that kind of rural area, because they're not that far from the nearest shopping center, you know, but things are definitely changing a lot. I mean, I see the changes already when I remember visiting my grandmother on my mom's side of, you know, the family in rural America down there in Ben Hill County, Georgia. And I remember the whole street, the houses were occupied. The last time I went down there, it was only two families on the entire street. The rest of the houses were boarded up. That was it. <laughs> you know, and it was nothing like that when I was growing up. It was somebody in every home. But you, you see how just a few decades pass and it is totally different now. Now, on my dad's side of the family, most of those rural area people are still there. You know, it, it, the town is mostly elderly, um, black folks in that rural area, but the houses are pretty much all occupied down there. The only problem about being in Irwin County, Georgia, is the lack of jobs. And that's why so many um, people from that area tend to get out of there if they stay in Georgia, they try to go closer to the Atlanta area because, you know, that's where the jobs are. Or they just leave altogether and come north. So, boy, I tell you, I, I, if I didn't live through this era, I, I would never believe all of this is happening. But it really is. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.